Well, the National Rugby League has become the second Australian sporting body to crack the billion-dollar barrier for the television rights to its matches. The Nine Network and Fox Sports will pay just over a billion to keep showing NRL for the next five years, double what they paid for the current contract. Andrew Robertson reports. Tim Grant with a magnificent opening exclamation. Rugby league is a tough game and a billion dollar price tag suggests those who run the sport are as hard as those who play it. We've been doing business for 15 years on the right side. I don't ever want to do business with you again. But for David Gingell, the stakes were as high as the price tag he's ended up paying. Momentum is an important thing in TV and coming off the Olympics and retaining these rights is enormously important for them in terms of their future program schedule their audience strategy and, frankly, their brand. Which is a major reason why Channel 9 and Fox Sports will be paying more than $900 million in cash plus $100 million in advertising to keep showing Rugby League for the next five years, more than double the previous six-year deal. Fox will pay slightly more than half but will show many more games on Foxtel. And according to media strategist Steve Allen, it also had important reasons for paying up big to hang on to Rugby League. The reason that they were prepared to bid, apart from being a joint venture bid largely, is you know, they, they didn't want IPTV or somebody else to be able to get into the act or anyone else to get a hold of the rights and suddenly they might have a downside. On the free-to-air side, all the commercial networks tended, but BBY's Mark McDonald believes Nine was always the likely winner. Ten's largely given up on sports, and uh, Lachlan Murdoch really um, indicated some time ago that trying to compete against Fox Sports was a little bit too much, given the budgetary constraints that they have. And Seven, of course, does the AFL. Nine is heavily in debt thanks to its private equity owners and with the rugby league deal has just taken on another half billion dollar commitment. Australian Rugby League Commission Chairman John Grant says it's a situation he's taken into account in framing the deal. There'll be a total of 90 million dollars paid essentially before the start of the 2013 season and that'll be through payments uh, on signing the final agreement and then in December and then at the beginning of March. And Fox Sports has issues of its own. Its half-owner, Consolidated Media Holdings, has indicated it wants to sell its stake in Fox, as well as its 25% share of Foxtel, to News Limited for around $2 billion. The spanner in the works could be Channel 7, which owns 24% of Consolidated Media. Seven's in the happy position that they can either make a counter-offer if the ACCC allows them to proceed, in which case offering more might still cost less because they already own 24%. Uh, and that really then puts the asset on News Corp to either up their bid and pay more uh, or else lose out. Which for Seven could be win-win because if it can't or won't bid, it could always sell and take the money.